there are three things topics greek topoi in which a man ought to exercise himself who would be wise and good the first concerns the desires and the aversions that a man may not fail to get what he desires and that he may not fall into that which he does not desire the second concerns the movements towards an object and the movements from an object and generally in doing what a man ought to do that he may act according to order to reason and not carelessly the third thing concerns freedom from deception and rashness in judgment and generally it concerns the ascents greek sukchat athesais of these topics the chief and the most urgent is that which relates to the effects greek tapathai perturbations for an effect is produced in no other way than by a failing to obtain that which a man desires or falling into that which a man would wish to avoid this is that which brings in perturbations disorders bad fortune misfortunes sorrows lamentations and envy that which makes men envious and jealous and by these causes we are unable even to listen to the precepts of reason the second topic concerns the duties of a man for i ought not to be free from effects greek apathy like a statue but i ought to maintain the relations greek scesis natural and acquired as a pious man as a son as a father as a citizen the third topic is that which immediately concerns those who are making proficiency that which concerns the security of the other two so that not even in sleep any appearance unexamined may surprise us nor in intoxication nor in melancholy this it may be said is above our power but the present philosophers neglecting the first topic and the second the effects and duties employ themselves on the third using sophistical arguments greek metapiptontas making conclusions from questioning employing hypotheses lying for a man must it is said when employed on these matters take care that he is not deceived who must the wise and good man this then is all that is wanting to you have you successfully worked out the rest are you free from deception in the matter of money if you see a beautiful girl do you resist the appearance if your neighbour obtains an estate by will are you not vexed now is there nothing else wanting to you except unchangeable firmness of mind greek ametaptosia wretch you hear these very things with fear and anxiety that some person may despise you and with inquiries about what any person may say about you and if a man come and tell you that in a certain conversation in which the question was who is the best philosopher a man who was present said that a certain person was the chief philosopher your little soul which was only a finger's length stretches out to two cubits but if another who is present says you are mistaken it is not worth while to listen to a certain person for what does he know he has only the first principles and no more then you are confounded you grow pale you cry out immediately i will show him who i am that i am a great philosopher it is seen by these very things why do you wish to show it by others do you not know that diogenes pointed out one of the sophists in this way by stretching out his middle finger and then when a man was wild with rage this he said is the certain person i have pointed him out to you for a man is not shown by the finger as a stone or a piece of wood but when any person shows the man's principles then he shows him as a man let us look at your principles also for is it not plain that you value not at all your own will greek proairesis but you look externally to things which are independent of your will for instance what will a certain person say and what will people think of you will you be considered a man of learning have you read chrysippus or antipater for if you have read archidamus also you have everything that you can desire why you are still uneasy lest you should not show us who you are would you let me tell you what manner of man you have shown us that you are you have exhibited yourself to us as a mean fellow querulous passionate cowardly finding fault with everything blaming everybody never quiet vain this is what you have exhibited to us go away now and read archidamus then if a mouse should leap down and make a noise you are a dead man 
for such a death awaits you as it did what was the man's name crinis and he too was proud because he understood archidamus wretch will you not dismiss these things that do not concern you at all these things are suitable to those who are able to learn them without perturbation to those who can say i am not subject to anger to grief to envy i am not hindered i am not restrained what remains for me i have leisure i am tranquil let us see how we must deal with sophistical arguments let us see how when a man has accepted an hypothesis he shall not be led away to anything absurd to them such things belong to those who are happy it is appropriate to light a fire to dine if they choose both to sing and to dance but when the vessel is sinking you come to me and hoist the sails <laughs>